In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom pop-up and use it on your website. Let's create a new page. Go to Pages and click Add New. We are going to use the Divi Builder, of course, and let's enable the front end one. The new page is where we are going to create a section that is going to serve us as a pop-up. I'm going to click to build from scratch. And you can add literally any content here you would like to show with your pop-up. You can choose any section structure here. I'm going to click this one. And in the first column, I'm going to add some text. I'm going to keep the default one. In the other column, I'm going to add the button. You want to allow your visitors to close the pop-up. So we are going to add a button with the text uh, of an X symbol. Go to advanced tab, toggle classes. And for the class, you need to write close underscore icon. Only with this class, the button is actually going to close the pop-up. And also, let's add some quick styles to this pop-up. If you want to add a background to it, you want to do it in the raw settings. So click raw settings, toggle background, and let's add a background color here. Uh, for example, this blue one. Let's also add some padding. For example, 50 pixels each side there we go all right and for the button let's also uh, add some better looking color well it can be white all right there we go if you would like to add an overlay color uh, you want to assign the whole section a color so click the section settings toggle background add the background color and for example black with uh, some sorry with opacity uh, like this save and you want to save this entire section to the library by clicking this button here you can give it any name you would like for example custom pop up and important you want to add this section to two categories that's pop up and php template next hit the save button and you're all set there's one more thing you need to do. Uh, go to Divi, Divi library and open the custom pop-up you've just created. And for the entire section, you need to assign a class. So click the page settings, advanced tab, and for the class, write this. Now save and exit and update. The reason I didn't add the class in the front-end builder is that this class by default hides the entire pop-up and with the class the pop-up is not visible uh, in the front end so you want to add it in the back-end editor instead and finally go to dvdm pro dashboard select team builder tab and go to wordpress customizer we are now actually going to activate the pop-up on our website toggle dvdm pro settings and toggle pop-up customizer from the drop down menu now you'll be able to see the custom pop-up you've just created and if you would like to display this pop-up across your website on all pages make sure to select this option here there we go and of course publish and let's preview and there we go you can also trigger the pop-up on click event uh, you don't need this option enabled in that case and let me show you how you can achieve this uh, let's create a new page once again and let's just add a single button the button can say trigger pop up and all you need to do is to assign a specific class to the button and that's this one dvdm pro pop up trigger all right let's have a test save the page and let me quickly exit the visual builder and now when i click the button the pop-up is shown all right that's it uh, that's all for this video thanks for watching